Hello everyone, my name is Andy Guastaferro and I serve as Chief Operating Officer at Blue Letter Bible. And I have with me Cameron Morgan. Cameron is our web designer. Cameron, will you share a little bit about what you do for the ministry? Sure, Andy. I do the visual design on Blue Letter Bible and I help create tools that are beneficial to our users. Um, that being said, uh, do we have a special announcement? We do. We've got a great announcement that we've been excited to share with you, our users. And it's something that Cameron's been working on for quite a long time. You know, uh, some of our most beloved and most popular resources are our original language study tools. And so we're constantly uh, wanting to make our tools in the original languages even more beneficial to our users. And so we've developed something brand new. We call it the inline interlinear. Andy, um, our users may not know what an inline interlinear is. Can you help explain that for us? Sure. Well, an interlinear is simply is uh, is where the English translation, each word and phrase of the English translation is mapped directly to the original language. So uh, in the Old Testament, the English translation is mapped to the Hebrew and in the New Testament, it's mapped to the Greek. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and an interlinear offers all sorts of other wonderful original language tools. It'll give you the root words, it'll give you the morphology, which is the parts of speech, uh, as well as a strong number in, in, in other transliteration as well, if you, if you want to know how to pronounce a, a particular word. So uh, an interlinear has all sorts of wonderful resources right there at your fingertips. Now we've always offered an interlinear. Uh, it used to be only at one verse at a time, and it was vertically. And uh, we saw the need to be able to give our users the opportunity to study more than one verse at a time when it comes to the original languages. And so this inline interlinear can give you an entire chapter all in one page. And, and so you don't have to keep clicking on the tools button to get to the next verse. And uh, with that, of course, uh, comes design challenges, uh, asking the question, how can we present this resource in a way that would be most beneficial to our users, which is where you come in. Mm -hmm. And so can you share maybe some of the challenges or, or some of the things that we've done to, uh, to make this a wonderful tool for our users. Sure, Andy. Uh, one of the biggest challenges was trying to create a visual system for the parts of speech. So that's, that includes uh, making nouns uh, orange or like creating verbs as green and using that color system as a way for our users to uh, s visually see what the parts of speech are in the verses themselves. Um, and for me personally, the biggest design challenge was the linkage of the words. So for example, you have English linked with uh, Hebrew or Greek. Uh, and uh, so you, you might have um, a pronoun uh, modify a noun. And so the linking, we created a way for to visually show where the colors blend together so that you see that the link is related. Yeah, because uh as most of our users know, not every single word is word for word. So sometimes one word might be translated into three or four English words. And trying to figure out where that connection is can be difficult. And uh, that's where you've come in and, and you've been able to show that visually so that our users can quickly and can, can easily see that. Now, our users may be thinking, well, th this must be something for you know, a biblical language expert or seminary students is, would you say that that's the case? No. No, I don't, I don't know. We've created this so that it can be used by everyone. We, we, we want all of our users to take advantage of this wonderful tool. And so we've, along with the, the interlinear, we've also um, added uh, Hebrew grammar, a Greek grammar, and all sorts of uh, shortcuts and helps uh, to help, help people really uh, not only see these things and see these tools, but uh, understand how to effectively use them in, in, in interpreting God's Word. And so uh, we encourage all of you to take a look and to uh, take advantage of this resource. Uh, they're probably wondering how to get there. So can you share me a couple of ways that they can find it? Sure, Andy. Yeah, there's two ways you can get to the inline interlinear. The first way is through the uh, main Bible page uh, and going to the tools button. And then you'll now see two additional tabs. And that includes the forward inline interlinear and the reverse inline interlinear. Um, and you can get the exact verse uh, right from that tools tab. Uh, if you wanna see a larger portion of scripture, you can click the full page link and that would take you to a new tab. 
Uh, and the other way to access the inline interlinear is through our top navigation. When you go to study under biblical language resources, you'll see an inline interlinear link right there. Uh, we also just really want to thank our users. We want to thank our supporters uh, who have, have given to the needs of the ministry and, and uh, help us to do everything that we do. And so we're very thankful for them. And uh, we hope you enjoy uh, this resource as a part of your study.